Yeah. Okay, hive two. Hive two, hive two. We're gonna give them some smoke. What is this creature? What is it? I don't know what that is. Show it to the camera. Strange green something. Bee, wasp. Not sure. It's got a stinger, so. Alright, this is kind of quiet. All right, let's open her up. Again, this is hive number two. I did not check before I sat down just then. We'll see. Not very glued together, is he? Oh, looks like they are a little low on food there. Yeah, so they're eating sugar. Sugar looks low, so I will refill that. Let's check the hive beetle trap. There is one beetle in the trap. Let's smoke our little bees a little bit. See if we can adjust their little bee attitude. All right, start cracking her open. See what it looks like. So we're worried in these hives that there's parasites and stuff because we've had some issues with these in the past. You all right, Abby? There's another one of the green bees. Is it? I hope it's not something bad. There are a lot of dead bees in here. Lots of dead bees. There's another ladybug as well, so. Lots of dead bees in this hive. Let's flip the deal. So there's not much on this frame. Um, it's just dark. Where's my metal frame holder? There it is on top of the truck bed. You okay, Abby? We have our friend Miss Abby out here helping us today. Okay. Empty frame. Empty frame. Oh my God. This is a problem. This is a dead hive, I think. Yeah, I think they've been robbed. I think maybe it was wasp or something got to this hive. There's literally not an ounce of honey left. I think it's been robbed out. There are dead bees everywhere. That was where I dug a hive moth out, or a wax moth rather. There, the whole bottom of the hive down here is filled with dead bees. Other bees are robbing the food. They have robbed all of the honey. It's empty. Empty hive. This is probably, if I had to guess, this was Yellow Jackets that did this. Empty hive. 
evidence of wax moth right there that line maybe it's possible don't worry Abby they're not gonna bother you I promise they can't get through your suit you can just let them look at it. look at me Abby you see how they're all landing on me see they're not bothering me it's okay they won't bother you bees are not mean that looks like more wax moth the brood is dead well so this hive is done for this is what a dead hive looks like it's been robbed out all the frames are empty dead bees everywhere there's a yellow jacket that's dead this is bad very very bad go. Hive number two, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that is a pretty unhappy sight. So I'm going to scrape all this. And take that off just so we can make more room in the hive itself. See them landing on me, Abby? See that one on my leg? See, he's not bothering me. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, these dead bees out of here. There's a lot of ants on this too. Is there? You can see the ants crawling everywhere. Yeah, they're after the sugar. Yeah, these guys have. So what happens is that when the other bees realize that nobody's in the hive, they come and take all the honey. So they've robbed it out clean. I mean, if you look, these frames are are basically eaten clean. We're gonna put some smoke near you, Miss Abby. Okay, well, that's the hive. So this is a this is a not a good thing at all. So what I'm doing here is because there's so much of this stuff built up on the sides of the frames, which I need some place to put this. But because so much of this stuff is built up it causes it to be too tight inside the hive trying to put these frames back because as you can imagine if you add an eighth of an inch per frame and you have 10 frames and two sides that can add significant thickness to the frames themselves and they won't join together well you don't have like a trash bag or anything do you Okay, well, that's hive two. We're gonna do our hive work off camera. Not good, dead hive.